All right. So um, for most of you who have started your vase and are well on your way, maybe you're done with the paper mache part, we're going to um, talk about patterns. So now it's your time to decide what is the surface of your vase going to look like. So at this point, it should be probably all white if you've used white paper. If you've used newspaper, you might want to find some white paper to do a final um, final layer or some white paint that will cover up the newspaper so that you can um, go ahead and add the pattern to your vase. If you have paint, you could lay down a uh, color. If you have colored paper, you could lay down a color and then draw on top of that. That's okay with me. And um, from there, you're going to use probably, I'm going to say that markers are going to be the best for putting down some patterns. So I know that probably for most of you, your, your vase might be a little bumpy from the paper mache, have a little bit of texture from the process of paper mache. So patterning might be hard. Feel free to use um, tape, masking tape. If you have masking tape, if you need to draw a straight line, feel free to sketch it out with a pencil and then kind of go over it with your marker. I think that would be the best approach because with a pencil you could at least erase or you can go over it with a marker if you're not happy with it. So I would highly suggest starting with a marker. If you don't have tape, you can use a string to, to um, make a straight line, you can have the string around the part of your piece that you want to make a straight line and then use that. So um, there's lots of tricks that you can use to go ahead and do that. So today what I really would want for you to do is to um, sketch out three different kind of uh, patterns that you may want for your... Um, your design, your surface design. Definitely use color, so hopefully you have markers. You can use color to create those designs. First sketch out the, the shape of your piece and then you can um, go ahead and draw out your pattern on the shape. So that gives you a little bit better understanding of what your piece will look like with that particular pattern. So I'll put that in um, I'll put that in, in as an assignment. Those of you who have done nothing, please continue to uh, catch up. So um, here is a idea of a real simple line. Um, oops, let's see. Go back. Oh, all right. Here, so here's a simple line pattern, right? There's not much difference in the thickness of the lines, but the way it's divided is it draws attention to the rim with the, this particular pattern. And notice that this is repeated here, and this is repeated here, so that kind of adds the same down here. So that kind of adds to your... Um, interest in how people would look at things. The other thing I wanted to do is to show you how it's divided into three. The top third is the rim and the handles, then there's like almost two thirds, not quite, but there's the middle part and then the bottom part of the foot. So attention is being drawn to all of that. Um, having such problems here. Attention is being drawn to all of that. So, and you can see where they're using similar um, patterning forms where there's dots here and the wavy form and the triangle form, dots, wavy form, triangle form here, and triangle form here, wavy form here, and then on the foot, it's the same. Here, we have an elaborate design that highlights the body of the vase. So, there's a design here and there's a couple of little bands down there but the whole design is the body of the vase and what I wanted to show you was the varying line thickness 
So here's a real thick line that outlines this shape, and then within there are smaller lines, smaller shapes. Same here. This thick line is really important for developing this particular pattern. So don't be, don't just use the thickness of um, your marker. Definitely try and make some areas thicker and some maybe some areas filled in, however you want to go about doing that, but you want to vary your line. I say this all the time. Okay, here are just some simple designs. So um, you can, you know, these are, are singular that you're not really using much um, in these particular ones. You know, you've got these like kind of sweeping vertical diagonal lines, I mean. Um, here are some horizontal lines, but notice how they kind of get thick and thin. This is your basic just banding, not very much interest to this, but it's dividing or highlighting the body of the pot. You know, here's a little kind of swirly, leaf-like dots, but how the dots are divided. And um, again, some leaves. So these are very, very simple, but um, they show color. Here's some multiple patterns that are on a um, pieces. Um, these are very busy, very colorful, lots of different patterning, not necessarily dividing the pot into different kinds of um, different spaces like highlighting the rim or the foot, but uh, adding a lot of texture to these pots. So there's a lot going on in um, these particular images. Here's some real simple designs. Um, they're in, they cover the entire pot, and um, they're based on Greek pottery, but they're really simplified. Greek pottery would have some imagery. Um, usually some Greek pottery would tell stories, so these are very, very simplified. They're just showing pattern. But you can see how um, you know a lot of attention is, is given to the body of the pot here. Same here, but um, again, these are just really, you know, very, very simple, but they give the form some visual interest. And I think that's it. So um, make sure that you're going on, I'm going to put up this uh, PowerPoint and this loom. Make sure you're going to get three sketches handed in. Um, I will let you have, what's today, Wednesday, I like them by Thursday, and please make sure they include color. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please make sure that you are um, attending my Zoom. Uh, those of you, I, um, those of you who need to catch up, oh, I wanted to show you this too, I did change Let's see, I did change um, a little bit of how your class looks. So, um, go to courses here. So what I did was I, I started using folders. I feel like um, by the end of the week, things were getting really super um, complicated. So um, here's my Monday folder. If you open up the Monday folder, here's the the loom that I made for Monday. Here's the assignment that I made it made for Monday. This was just an assignment so I could get grades into gradebook, um, into the gradebook. And this was uploading. This is where you would upload it to the media album. So um, you could see how. Um, let's see. Let's go back. Um, let's see. I, I'll take that back. Here is the media album. So you can see I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people who have participated in the media album. So um, this uh, Jessica was did the alternative assignment. So. Um, for her, she, her decorating, decorating is going to be a little bit different because she already has a pattern kind of going with that. It, it's like a self-made pattern of, of weaving, so she already has that. But everybody else has done the paper mache part. 
So out of 27 people, here you go. I've got nine, right? One, two, three, four, five. I've got nine people participating. Um, so I would really love for everybody to step up and hear from you. Uh, if you're having issues, please reach out. Let me know. But back to what I was doing. Um, so if I go back here, when you look at your, you know we're in week three and we're going to be finishing up these vases, I really would love for them to be finished um, and then have a critique on them on Monday. So maybe there's only nine people participating. Um, you know, time keeps marching on, so please make sure you are um, adding and getting things done. So if you owe things from week one, here's week one folder with all the stuff in there. Um, you can see how I'm kind of learning how to use Schoology a little bit better. Week two, I did not divide week two yet up yet. I started with week, week three. So here's all the things that I did on week two. You can see the looms. Um, you can do, you can, um, see the assignments. So, and then, um, in week three, like I said, here's what I did for Monday, Tuesday, my little rant about where is everybody. So I will put that into the Tuesday folder. Um, I don't, I think your assignment was due, um, I think your assignment was due yesterday. No, it was due on Monday. So um, there was no assignment on Tuesday. On um, today is going to be your assignment for for pattern color patterning. You know, using the shape of your vase. So. Um, Go ahead and reach out to me. Join my Zoom today. Uh, let's see. Today we have, um, I think it's at 11. No, 10. Sorry. 10 and 3.30. So um, if you have any problems, any questions, need anything, please let me know. And I will um, help you out the best that I can. So um, reach out if you need me.